was a fairly quiet start to the morning in the high country. Cloudy skies, cooler temperatures. This is a look at I-80 at Soda Springs just before 7 a.m. The roads look damp, but overall pretty calm conditions. But that was a different story just a few hours later. This was a look at I-80 along Donner Summit just after 11 a.m. What a big difference about four hours makes. You can barely see what's in front of the camera and you can see the road covered in snow. Again, just about four hours later. Thanks for joining us at noon. I'm Lisa Gonzalez on this weather impact day. A major storm bringing snow, wind and rain to different parts of Northern California. We have live team coverage for you. KCRA 3's Danica Hill is traveling live in Live Tracker 3 right now along I-80. And of course, meteorologist Dirk Fedora tracking the radar for us and what's happening right now, Dirk. Yeah, things actually are on the increase here in Northern California. We've had the snow, of course, through the morning in the Sierra. We've been seeing this also in through the coastal mountains, and now we're seeing conditions that are starting to pick up not only in the Northern Sierra, but we're also seeing some thunderstorm activity popping up on the uh, through the Northern uh, mountains and on in through the uh, valley, Sacramento Valley, seeing some of that activity. So Doppler radar showing us through Plumas County where we do have some of that snow. In the brighter white areas are where we have some of that heavier snowfall at this time. Along Highway 70, we're gonna be seeing mostly rain in the lower elevations. You have to get up above 5,000 feet to see that transition from rain into some snow. I-80, we're seeing that rain again as you get past Blue Canyon, and then it transitions into some snow and it's coming down pretty heavy right now at Donner Summit. This is what it looks like. Caltrans cam showing, yeah, they're scraping it away. You can see a little bit of the road there, but a lot of snow coming down. Visibility is greatly reduced and we've had wind gusts of over 40 miles per hour over Donner Summit so far this morning, and those are only going to intensify as the winds are expected to increase as some of the heavier precipitation moves across the area. Doppler radar showing Highway 50. Snow not coming down nearly as heavy, and this is what you see, just wet roadways at Twin Bridges. And so you can see that car is moving along pretty good at the Twin Bridges area with just the wet roads. There's no snow on the road, so big difference from what we're seeing along I-80. So this is the snow timeline. We're looking at snow levels that around 5,600 feet from this morning are going to steadily be dropping as we go through the day today. By later on tonight, we'll see those snow levels dropping down to about 3,600 feet as we head into um, Friday morning. They'll go up a little bit to 4,400 feet, then see that bigger drop as we get into Saturday morning down to about 2,600 feet, and we'll continue to see that in the uh, between two to 3,000 feet as we go from Saturday into Sunday. So that's kind of what we're expecting as far as the snow levels. We'll take a look at how much snow we can expect coming up. Now back over to you. Dirk, thank you. And let's continue our team coverage. KCRI 3's Danica Hill live in Live Tracker 3 right now, driving along I-80 near Colfax. Danica, how does it look there? Right now, we're starting to get into that wet weather. We're making our way up 80. Um, like you said, we're just now in the Colfax area. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what we're seeing right now. You can see just a couple little sprinkles on the windshield, on the roadways right now. Um, but driving conditions so far have been pretty good. I will tell you back towards Applegate, we started to see those chain checks. We know chain controls are in place right now from Nyack to uh, Truckee right now. So if you are making your way up 80, make sure you have those chains and everything that it requires to put them on. That includes those bungee cords. Make sure that you are prepared to put them on properly. Um, but right now, where we're at here in Colfax, conditions are looking pretty good. I mean, our drive so far has been pretty smooth. We're going to continue to make our way up and hopefully get into some of that snow and then give you another look at what things are looking like right there. But for now, here in Colfax, Danica Hill, KCRA 3 News. Danica, thank you so much. And eastbound I-80 in the Sierra is back open after a big rig flipped over on its side. That crash happening near Donner Lake earlier today. And this is video from CHP from earlier of the crash. And you can see the big rig on its side, wheels up there blocking all of the lane. CHP says speed played a role in this crash. The driver has minor injuries. Caltrans is warning skiers and snowboarders that it may be best to just stay home this weekend. Some resorts in the Tahoe area are even telling us they will be reducing operations or closing altogether. Sierra at Tahoe says it's closing operations tomorrow for the safety of guests and employees. Operations today will depend on the conditions. Heavenly Ski Resort, Palisades, Sugar Bowl and Kirkwood say there's potential for partial or full closures. That storm also leading to a last minute change for the state's monthly snow survey. State officials move tomorrow's monthly snow survey along Highway 52 this morning and today officials say the current snowpack is 77% of the season average this time of year. In comparison, last month's snow survey near Echo Summit along Highway 50 recorded the snowpack at 42% below average for the same time of year. With the snowstorm coming this weekend, the big thing to watch for is just how much that will change in next month's snowpack survey. We'll have to wait and find out. 
Taking a live look at the valley. This is our Sacramento sky camera where we're starting to get some raindrops. We've got some dark, big, thick clouds overhead and yeah, they're producing those raindrops. Let's get it over to meteorologist Dirk for Dorn. It's fun to see science in action, Dirk. Science in action. This is the weather <laughs> we're talking about and we have some very interesting weather going on right now. We talked about the snow, but now we're going to talk a little bit more about the rain. And so we have this line of thunderstorms making their way across I-5 from Redding to Red Bluff. We've seen some heavy rain as well as numerous lightning strikes associated with this line as it's moving from the west to the east. It's going to be heading into Plumas County in the northern Sierra here within the next hour or so. Other areas getting some rain, uh, some more moderate to heavier rain as you get up above Nevada City on Highway 20. Colfax, so we saw Dedeke Hill that was getting into some rain there and that's going to be rain all the way up until you get past Blue Canyon right now. Uh, other areas seeing some rain, Yuba City getting some showers as well as Marysville. You can see those showers are going to be pushing across Woodland getting some rain. We're seeing some scattered showers near Vacaville and Fairfield, but right now it looks like most of the area is fairly dry. Winds, that's another feature to our, our weather story today. And these are wind gusts, and this is where we're seeing winds on the increase over the next couple of hours. And currently we see wind speeds gusting from 20 to over 32 miles per hour in the valley. We could see wind gusts up above 40 miles per hour over the next couple of hours, Lisa. All right, Dirk, thank you. We're going to continue to check in with you, and you can also stay connected to us on the KCRA 3 app and check the weather where you are. Sign up for push alerts, get the latest updates for your neighborhood or maybe where you work.